prophecy's best seen. Exterior. Roger McVeigh's old house later that night. A crack of thunder as lightning peeks out from the dark clouds. A rainstorm is pounding the area below. Ahead, we see a small ranch-style house. It is weathered, aged, and in need of some repair. Interior. Roger McVeigh's old house, living room, night. Inside, Lily McVeigh, very attractive and casually dressed. She is in the middle of her spring cleaning, tossing items into a box marked keep. Others are thrown in the loose box. Roger McVeigh enters. A well-groomed beard adds to his already rugged good looks. He hangs his raincoat and wipes off the residual water from his clothes. Wow, is it nasty out there? He drops his satchel on a nearby table and walks over to greet Lily. The two kiss. Hello, handsome. How was your day? Roger is beaming, anxious to share. Lily notices his Cheshire cat-like smile. What? What is it? Say hello to Bremer's new executive vice president. Lily is both shocked and surprised. She throws her arms around his neck. Oh my god, that's fantastic! Congratulations! Wait, when did this happen? As Roger pulls away, he reaches into his pocket and pulls out a check. Today, I, I barely got back when he called me into the office and we had the talk. And not only that, he kicked in a nice bonus to go with it. Lily takes the check and marvels at the number. Wow! I want you to deposit that tomorrow because this weekend, you and I are going house hunting. Lily is thrilled with the announcement. She hugs Roger tightly. Really? Oh, Orrin will be so excited to hear that. He'll finally get a real to have something bigger than that broom closet of a bedroom we've stuffed him in. Roger looks into the two boxes Lily has been filling up. What's going on in here? Oh, I was just doing a little reorganizing. Again? Roger reaches into the box marked Discard and grabs an older, leather-bound book. Wow. I forgot I still had this. He starts thumbing through the book. What is it? It was my great-great-grandmother's diary. It must be 150 years old. Lily approaches McVeigh from behind and wraps her arms around his waist. Mmm, any juicy McVeigh family dirt in there? She smiles, but Roger remains serious. Uh, hardly. It's mostly about the patriarch of the family, my great-great-grandfather, John McVeigh. He was some sort of a priest-slash-mayor of this small village in old Scotland. And if the writings in here are true, he supposedly had women murdered, and the town deemed to be witches. He had them burned alive right in front of the townspeople. Lily is horrified. That's terrible. Hey, 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 check this out. Great, great granny, put, put this part in quotes. Roger starts to read. From the dust we will rise. From the evil we will beget. Your sons will suffer most for all you'll soon regret. Exterior, Roger McVeigh's old house, night. Outside, the thunder and lightning return. Three lightning strikes sweep across the darkened gray skies. Each one reveals the silhouette of three women standing next to one another, staring back at the McVeigh house. Interior, Roger McVeigh's old house, living room, night. Back inside, Lily slowly takes the book from Roger and sets it down gently in the keep box. All right, that's enough about the family diary. She then turns her attention back to Roger. Hey, Mr. EVP, we've got some celebrating to do. Roger pulls Lily closer. Oh, I agree. What time is Junior due home? Well, he's taking his last final, but then he said he'd be going out with friends afterwards to celebrate, so... Lily steps back, shoots a sexy smile Roger's way, and starts to unbutton her blouse. We look on. Enjoying her teas. After the blouse drops, she starts on her jeans. Now, in nothing more than lacy underwear, Lily moves back to Roger and throws her arms around his neck. What do you say we give this old house a proper send-off? <laughs> <laughs>